This video demonstrates how to interact with MySQL databases using JSP. It's a very simple video where I'll be inserting some values to MySQL database using this form form.html file. Once after inserting those values from HTML form to the MySQL database, I'll use report.html file to extract those values back from MySQL database to HTML file. I'll show you how this form.html file looks like. So we have the following fields. We already had an EMP table in MySQL database. I'll enter the name of the employee and the department to which he or she belongs to. And as soon as I press save the employee details, then I'll be redirecting to form.jsp file, which will collect those two parameters name and uh, department from the form.html and uh, submits those data to the MySQL database. It's the responsibility of form.jsp to collect the information from form.html file and to store those details in MySQL table, the table called as EMP. Okay, uh, just have a small look at form.jsp file. This is a simple JSP file. We need to import uh, these uh, file, uh, these packages, Java x.sql, Java io, uh, x.solid as well as solid.http. These packages we need to import. Once after importing, uh, these are the lines that are used to establish the connection and to create a statement. Okay. So in case if you have readily available solid program, then you can very easily convert that program to JSP file. And in case if you do not have any program, you can simply write this code. Uh, these lines are used to establish the connection and to create a statement. So I'm using a database called as test in which uh, expecting that uh, EMP table is already available. I'm inserting these two values ename and uh, DEPT. Okay, whatever the values that I get from HTML, I'm storing in variables called as X and Y, like ename and DEPT. Okay, these ename and DEPT are the names that I have given for form fields in the HTML file. Once after getting values to uh, in X and Y respectively, I'll uh, store those values in EMP table. The statement will successfully store the values into EMP table. And then we'll execute that SQL query. Once after record has been successfully uh, inserted into the table, in case if I wanted to insert the second record, I'm, I'm having a request dispatcher here. So I'll be uh, without going to form.html again, whatever the content of form.html file, in case if I wanted to reinsert one more value, then I, I need form.html in the current page means I'll uh, use a request dispatcher include method. So as to get that form.html files output on the same JSP file, uh, JSP page. Okay, this is a simple program. It doesn't have not more than 15 or 20 lines. Okay, it's not a matter that you can copy this code uh, right from here in case if you wanted to test the example. Now we'll see how this uh, report.html file looks like. In the report.html file, I've taken only one field. Uh, that field is nothing but the department name. You see here, enter department name to list the employee details. So in case uh, if we have entered the employee names and department names, and in case if I wanted to see the all employee names, of a particular department, then I'll type simply here. It can be anything like CSC. Then all the employees who belongs to CSC, uh, how to come, uh, they should be displayed on the web page itself. Okay, it's a simple SQL statement. Uh, select uh, start from EMP where DEPT name equals to CSC. It's a simple SQL statement that uh, how to be executed. Okay, that, that should be executed when this button is pressed. So as soon as I press this button, the request will be redirected to report.jsp file. Now we'll look at this file, how this look, looks like. As in the way I told in form.jsp, we need to import these packages which are required and then we'll get a statement, a simple statement, employee details. These are the statements that are required uh, to establish the connection. All the statements are very much similar to, to the statements that, that whatever we have seen in the form.jsp file. Okay, once after uh, creating the connection successfully, now we are providing a department name from HTML file. The field name in HTML file that is report.html file is DEPT that I'm storing in a variable called as Z. Once after getting that value, in case if it is CSE, then I need to execute this statement like this. 
select star from emp where dept equals to z because z has the value of uh, some department name that is provided during uh, entering the value in the report.html file and then i'll i have used a result set in case if you if you are aware of uh, row set objects you can also use row set object using result set uh, i am executing this query sql so mm, the result will be coming to uh, the result set rs okay using a simple iterator while iterator in case there can be any number of employees in a particular department using this while statement as as long as there exist a row i am printing those values okay what are the values that i am going i know very well that a emp table has only two columns one is uh, name and other is dept according to the number of value a uh, number of columns i have i am extracting those details i know that there are only two columns so i have used the two variables here e name and dept so every time i extract one row of information successfully i am displaying it on the web page itself so this page is also very much similar to form.jsp it is uh, report.jsp it is very much similar to form.jsp the only thing is that in form.jsp we have inserted values here we are extracting the values nothing more than that very simple okay right so very simple four files we have one is form.html report.html form.jsp report.jsp now let's see the execution before i show you the execution you should know one thing that uh, in order to interact with mysql database mysql hyphen connector dot jar file should be available in your tomcat for an example uh, this is my tomcat directory in my machine apache tomcat okay in library this file mysql hyphen connector dot jar file the version can be anything but this jar file should be available in uh, apache tomcat slip okay because during execution jsp file or servlet file will have to be linked to this uh, jar file because all those connections whatever we have used which are purely based on mysql database class dot for name we have given some url in both the cases of form dot jsp and uh, report dot jsp that class name is available in this jar file only so all drivers that are required to get successful connection are based on this jar file so make sure your tomcat library has this connector file dot uh, connector dot jar file and also you need to set the class path because uh, if you do a simple copy your computer cannot understand uh, the change that you have made so you need to set the class path that way where, where exactly that file is available this jar file is available okay in case of windows go to my computer properties environment variables set the class path to this particular file and in case of ubuntu and you can edit the uh, environment file which is available in etc there you can uh, set the class path okay in case if you do not know how to set class paths and uh, what all i am talking about then you can watch the watch my previous videos that are available which are based on servlet jdbc and everything okay you can watch those things in which i have given a clear explanation about how to set class paths what are these jar files how to set them in case of ubuntu or in case of uh, windows i have discussed them please follow those videos and uh, instructions right now our application is ready to deploy that uh, we i i already had uh, this jsp jdbc in this folder i have these uh, four files as this is not a servlet it's a complete application is based on uh, uh, jsp uh, we can directly i mean we need not to there, there is no headache of uh, creating web.xml file or uh, webin folder because it's it's jsp it's a text file when compared to servlet it is uh, very simple to deploy okay just uh, you copy this folder and in case tomcat is available in your own machine then go to web apps folder and there you paste it okay in my case uh, jsp jdbc folder is already available these four files i have deployed in apache tomcat but in case apache tomcat is not available in your machine and in case if you wanted to connect to some other machine where apache tomcat is running then you have to create a web apps file all right uh, now we'll see the execution before we see the execution let me show you the emp table in mysql database okay i'm using the database called as test okay here uh, emp table is already available select so start from emp it's an empty set let me describe the data types of a emp table uh, i have two columns one is name and dept okay when i enter values from html uh, this table should uh, should fill with values and uh, the same from the same table those values can be extracted from report.jsp file okay uh, now we'll uh, see the execution my tomcat is already running in local host so i'll directly connect to the local host local host 80 80 
jspjdbcform.html. Okay, jspjdbc is a folder name. Right here we got uh, enter EMP details to store in the EMP table in MySQL database. Right, let's enter some values such in CSC department. Save employee details. Now we have uh, redirected to form.jsp. Our execution is successful because form.jsp has successfully uh, showed the information that record successfully inserted. And then we again got uh, using request dispatcher, we got a, uh, we got this uh, form.html's outcome here itself using request dispatcher's include method. Right, let's insert one more value. Okay, CSC. some other department called this ID. Okay. Now I have inserted three records into the EMP table. Now let's check whether these uh, records are uh, successfully came to the table, came to the table or not. Okay, so let's start from EMP. Right. Information is successfully inserted into the table. Now let's see reporting. Report.html. Here I'll enter some department name. Enter department name to list the employee details. So I'll uh, enter some department name. Let the department name be CSC. Okay. So before I press, you see the things that I, uh, there are two person who belongs to CSC, such and Rohit. Let's see whether we will be able to see the same information or not. Right. Such and CSC. We got it. Beautiful. So it's a very simple example, right? Okay. Uh, these kind of examples can be done using JSP because wherever you are using large amount of HTML than Java coding then it's better to go with the JSP because editing is very simple. Uh, in case of Surlet, uh, if uh, Java logic is very small and if you have large amount of HTML you should not go for Surlet programming because it's a hectic thing that you need to recompile your program every time because Surlet is a Java classifier. Thank you. Bye. If you like my videos and if you want me to continue on YouTube channel then please subscribe and switch on the notification bell.